Hello, ma'am. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. So, how is the pandemic treating you these days? Um, working from home most of the time, not going out, locked up in my home. That's that's about it. But it's a, it has led me to watch a lot of shows that I was po like procrastinating on. So I've been binge watching a lot of uh, Netflix and Prime Video shows. So it's a pro and a con kind of situation. But yeah, it's 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 tough. But you need to thrive. That's what I've learned so far in life. So that's right. what I'm doing. Okay. Thank you so much Mom, for being here and taking our time for corporate gup shop with Bank Pass. And um, so for the record, can you please introduce yourself and the company you're working with and your designation? Yeah, definitely. Um, first of all, thank you for having me here. I am really excited to share my journey with everyone here and hopefully it will help someone um, and uh, might inspire someone to go the route that I went through. And yeah, so my name is Mansi Tripathi. I am a technical program manager at Facebook in Seattle. And I have been in this role for about six months now. And I started the role in pandemic. So everything has been virtual for me, onboarding and working with teams. And I even relocated during this pandemic time. So it's been a really crazy journey, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed the, journey so far in the company yeah thank you so much that is very interesting to know that you even relocated because people have had the onboarding online but probably the relocation is something that you didn't know not a lot of people did relocation since the traveling was kind of down i mean actually for me it was more a contractual thing because in our contract when we signed it was pre-pandemic and for the people that were joining in around my time had to relocate but anyways it was a blessing in disguise um i was a there were a lot of apartments that were free and they all filled up within a month that i moved in so it was a blessing in disguise in a way and yeah that's it's it's uh, it's been challenging but um uh, definitely uh, i have learned a lot of things through this uh, challenging time i'm sure i'm sure so, uh, ma'am, what is the basic things that your role in the company expects you to do? Sure. Um, so, uh, Facebook has two kinds of PMs. One is the product manager and the other one is a technical program manager, which is my role. Product managers seem to be more focused around what the product needs to be, what is the vision of the product and all of that stuff uh, business and how to get business into tech side like whatever businesses are doing whatever user research you do whatever comes out of it how do you enable it in your technology i work more on the more technical side of things like um i i am a tpm in infrastructure teams within facebook and infrastructure is always a domain where you'll find a lot of PM working. Uh, reason behind that is uh, infrastructure, even though it starts as a small project, it grows exponentially over years. For example, um, just look at the growth of the company of Facebook. We have over 3 billion uh, customers. To cater to these customers, we need to have really strong infrastructure to provide all the services on time, have the right performance of, of, of it, have reliability and all of that, those terms. like. Um, to uh, so because of that, a lot of PMs get involved in ensuring that we are not missing stuff and driving programs. So uh, my role, even though I w do different things at different point of time based on what project I'm working on, but major, if I have to summarize this role, it's like a mixture of uh, a bit of technical uh, technicality, like understanding how the system works, a bit of program management, which is basically how do you drive a program from start to finish and deliver it on time, and then a little bit of leadership where you have to sometimes uh, lead a program, like start a program from ground up and lead it uh, with the, the support of your engineering managers. 
So it's a mixed role. It's not properly defined as other roles in the company, but that's what makes it more exciting, at least for me. Um, and every day I'm working on something different, which makes me want to go to work every day, like sit on this laptop uh, right now. Otherwise I would be in office, but like it motivates me to get to work every day and get my work done. It's interesting to know. I believe challenges is what drives all of us. So like you said, that's true. That's true. So uh, what are the few technologies that you personally use while you're working on this role? Um, so I don't per se code that much. I sometimes get involved, not that much, but uh, around me, a lot of teams work on hack, uh, Python and PHP. Um, these are the major languages that we work on in Facebook, but it depends. Like if you go into a product team, they'll work on a different technology and for, uh, and like the infrastructure and the whole technology stack that Facebook has is pretty complicated. So it like changes, like it is a, it, it might change within the same organization if you go to another team. So it's a very um, complicated system at this point of time. So uh, I it's not easy for me to say, oh, we just work in C sharp or we just work in Java. It's a very complicated, delicate system with uh, which uses bunch of technologies across the whole uh, from front end to the back end system. I'm sure. And uh, apart from the technologies, what are the few tools or collaboration techniques that you use as a leader? Um, it depends. Like, it depends on the project that I am leading or I am working on. So right now, I am working on some company mission critical projects. And when you have a mission critical project, the criticality itself drives the program. So um, if you your job as a TPM is to ensure that you're communicating and the criticality the right way to the engineers and the other stakeholders that need to work on it. So, um, uh, and that's like, there are two kinds of like, there are multi multiple ways that you can lead a program or work on in a stream. But um, uh, right now, based on like what I have done so far is like mostly mission critical stuff. So mission critical stuff is usually driven itself. It's just that you need to ensure that you're communicating well, collaborating with them and informing them what needs to be done. Like that's one of the key goals as a TPM that you need to go and find and define what the problem is on what needs to be done and then work with the engineer like you if you are not doing that part you're just going to make things more complicated for the engineering teams to work on right right and uh, other than this since you said your onboarding was online did you mm -hmm. face any hurdles because you're in work from home scenarios you haven't really met your team mm-hmm yeah, um, I would say definitely for a period of one or two months in the beginning. So we have um, for one month, I did not meet anyone. I was just meeting my manager and I had a bunch of onboarding meetings and like all those things going on. So for one month, I didn't really have any social connection within the company apart from my manager. But then when I started getting introduced to the team and then the projects that I'll be working on, um, at the beginning, I would say it was tough because suddenly you are thrown into a situation where you're expected to do something and you don't really have that uh, connection with your team, that relationship where you can very freely talk about what you are thinking. So that was a really challenging period for me um, about a month, but then I uh, did some things like um, one thing that one of my, uh, my teammates or my manager suggested that you talk to your teammates and ask them to suggest two more people that you should talk to. And that's what led me to like build my network. And now I have some really uh, great people that I can rely on and I and I call some of them are my mentors some of them are my colleagues and I can definitely rely on them if ever I need to 
So uh, the one way that you need to tackle if you're working in uh, this environment is you need to make the effort of setting up meetings with them one on one, like team meetings is fine. But like when you meet with them one on one, you learn so much more about them. And that's what is going to help you build the network that you need to thrive in this environment. Right. I understand completely. It's the hardest part I personally think is the whole big building a connection virtually because you're not really meeting the person you're just seeing him or seeing them off of a screen and yeah. at times just actually hearing them not even seeing so yeah that's true that's, that's true. true another another thing that i do is um i organize social events for my team like uh, where we are just getting together in a meeting and playing among us like we're playing Pictionary. Um, so all of these things also kind of help you build like, oh, also show your character and also shows character of other teammates. And like, that's how you are like, oh, you get more comfortable. Oh, this is a fun guy that likes to make uh, funny jokes and puns all the time. Oh, he's more serious, but he's really intelligent. So like when you interact with them one on one, one and in these uh, social events you're definitely going to understand uh, how they are and that's the only way you can go about it in this world at this point of time so right. yeah. thank you so much for sharing these insights is there anything specific that you would like to share to all the aspirants who might be looking at this i would say um, make sure whatever you're working on, like if you don't just commit to it just because you got the first job. I started out as a software engineer. I worked in Microsoft for two years as a software engineer, but that was not the right role for me. And the reason how I realized that was I was always looking for something that made me feel good. Like I, I love coding. That's a different thing. But the work that I was doing as a software engineer in the company did not give me the happiness that I was looking for. So always keep uh, challenging yourself, keep asking the questions like, is this what I want to do for the next four or five years? And that is what, a, what is going to drive your career uh, forward. Like that's going to push you to build short term goals, long term goals. And that is very key to grow in your career. So that's my advice if anyone wants to take it, take it with a bit of a grain of salt, but yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. We were so delighted to hear your insights. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.